Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, it was up for debate if I was going to do Vortex or Sally Mae. I ended up selling on Vortex since he was asked first. And yeah, we are going to be doing him next. So, Vortex as a Yandere, his traits, disclaimer Vortex from Hell of a Boss is not Yandere canon. And Simbin for fictional characters is fine as long as you separate fiction from reality and do not be gross, illegal, or creepy about it. And that this is just for fun and not for uh, to be taken seriously at all. And Simbin is fine. Also... Yanders are not ideal partners to have in real life, and you should not want them in real life. So now, let's do this. First of all, his traits. Maybe a scenario at the end. It depends on what I do. So first, his traits. Vortex is a very nice guy. A little oblivious, but very nice. He is also takes his job very seriously, but is not paid enough to care for certain things, so he doesn't do with the drama that his boss has. He ends up meeting you and falling smitten for you. He has never met any demon like you, and he loves you more than anything. He ends up breaking up with his girlfriend because he does not want to cheat on her, and he is man enough to say that. Of course, she still feels betrayed, and he feels bad about that. He would be the type of Yandere that is loyal and does not cheat and would end a relationship if he, if before you, if he was going to pursue you and was with someone else before that. He takes being loyal very seriously and sometimes is oblivious. So he doesn't know if you're into him or not, but he's very into you. Also, he wants, he would be the type to build a friendship first before, before ending up not, you know, I'm trying to think of the words. Friendship before he starts dating you. That's it. Because he wants to build a concrete and actually know that he's into you and that you have a sustainable relationship in the future. He is the type of Yandere that is super protective and not afraid to beat the crap out of someone. Like, they hurt you, they're getting beaten up. They try to flirt with you, he's going to try to be slick about it and make sure make them know that hey you're taken back off dude or and if that doesn't work beat the crap out of them that's the type of yonder he would be dealing with rivals and he would also be the type to not really stalk you or do any of that stuff but would literally talk about your day and just see what you were doing without being a creep about it he's one of the most supportive yonderies there is and very loving and affectionate but he is a bit possessive in which he does not like when guys are clearly hitting on you and they won't stop and they're making you uncomfortable. Like he will literally put his body between yours and there and intimidate them to back the frick off. He is very affectionate to you and very sweet. And he's also very chill and relaxed. So a lot of rivals do not really piss him off until it gets to a point where he's like, okay, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, he's like, no, you're his darling and he loves you and he respects you and respects your boundaries, which is very rare for Yandere. Though he does make ways that he can get them out of you without seeming like he's getting something out of you. Very slightly manipulation. And it was, yeah, this one was really short. Oh yes, how he would confess to you. Ooh, La, la. He would confess to you after months of knowing you and getting to know you. So he shows interest and he would start by before confessing, treating you like you were already in a relationship, showing you what type of man he could be if you were to date him. And that is one of the best ways to do it. Then when he finally confesses, if you say no, he will still continue to treat you like that and work on romanticizing you and start treating it like a romantic relationship, but still re respecting your boundaries. Though if you start to date someone else, he's going to easily get rid of them so they are not in his way because he is not going to share. No, 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 no. Anyways, and just... If you say yes, he's over the moon, your guys are a couple, and he just continues to treat you great. Though he's a bit protective, if someone is threatening to hurt you, he's going to beat them down. Like, no, no, he's a protector shield type yandere, which we love the shield type yandere's. They are mwah, chef kiss. Anyways, 
Anyways, now on to the scenario because I got time. Scenario. This is, we're going to do it in a spring break thing where you came from hell as well to watch Verasica in the human world. So let's do this. You were watching Verasica cheering it on. You were unaware of Vortex watching you. Vortex was watching you. He never seen a demon like you before in hell or in human or non-human form. He fell for you hard and wanted you bad. He needed you bad and would do anything to have you. So he walks up to you to introduce himself. Hey, I'm Vortex, he says to you, smiling down at you. You look at him and smile. Nice to meet you, Vortex. Are you from around here? You implied asking if he was a demon. Yeah, I'm from the same place you are, he says nonchalantly. You smile and nod it and you guys get to talking. So, you like Veroska? he says, pointing at the stage. Eh, she's all right. I just am mostly here with my friends, you said, pointing to them as they sent for horny succubies. Ah, figures, he laughed. Anyways, uh, want to get a drink? He does his job, of course, but he gets to sideways and get a drink. He doesn't drink his, but it's to look more like he's comfortable with you. You both talk and have a great night. So, so that was when I said you d had delivered the punchline of your joke. Sorry, I'm terrible at jokes. And he laughs genuinely. You were a great par person to have in his life, and he already knew he was going to be dumping his girlfriend. So, do you want to maybe catch a movie when we're back in hell? He asks you, and you light up. I would li really like that. She, ugh, you say with a smile. And he smiles back. This was all so perfect. He could not wait. Well, here's my number. He wrote, writes down your number. And then sees a guy f checking you out. He narrows his eyes and says he will be right back. The guy tries to come over and slap your ass. But Vortex grabbed him and broke his arm. He was not going to have anyone sexually assault you. He was your protector. He would be your future husband. And he was going to keep you safe, no matter what. Time for the Patreon outro. So, for those who do not know, I have a Patreon where I do not save for work stuff. And I have currently, at the recording of this, two patrons, which are Wicked Brony and the $6.60 60 cents tier, which is, which is Warlock Sorcerer tier. And they are Wicked Brony, and this is their shout out. Then I have, in my top tier of $10, Gev... Uh, who is my first patron and has done art for the channel and is a big support. And this is their shout out. Thank you, Gav. You are awesome as well. And she is in the Queen King's Majesty tier. And that makes her Queen Gav. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoy. If you want to check out my Patreon, feel free to do so. It has where you can get Not Safe for Work. And since it's still relatively small, I can do specific requests for Not Safe for Work for almost... Two of the three tiers. And yeah, anyways, I hope you all enjoy. Now back to the regular outro. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. It was a bit more fluff, but I had to throw a little bit of arm breakage in at the end. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you would like to see more Has Been Hotel Hell of Boss characters, comment them below and I'll do the best I can. Some will be remade once the show of Has Been Hotel is out. But yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you want to see more content from me, I have a playlist at the end and suggested videos at the end that you can check out, see what you like and such. And yeah, you can do that. I also have am pre-recording these other videos. So I either did two videos before this or one video before this or two to three videos after this that will be husband and hell of boss related between the next 10 days. And a 10 day span of time before or after this or both. And I hope that you all enjoyed and stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye bye.